So follow up number three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. information here not as much as I would like to see so I may slow down even further today uh, we may accelerate again next time but at least for the next couple of weeks I want to slow down You went at 0 0.75 so far? Mm-hmm. The truth is we see the mechanism so well that I'm sure there's way more bone than we can actually see. It's just the x-ray penetration is, is heavy. Reaching four centimeters, you're halfway there. Nice. So 3.9. Here, once again, I don't see as much, but the x-ray is fried a little more. We'll reassess in two weeks. If, despite slowing down, we don't see better bone formation, what we'll do is we'll alternate between compression and distraction. All right, let's go in. On the other side, the mark. All right, do you have, do you have an appointment in physical therapy afterwards? Yeah. You, you do? Perfect. So how's everything going? What's your perspective? <coughs> Pretty good. Was there anything specific, specific you wanted to talk about today? Um, no, it's just that uh, I had to slow down with the stretching for that couple of days when I was extremely sick for yeah. the COVID, the vaccine. And uh, my second dose is on the 11th. Well, it's not bad to slow down, by the way. You do, it, we're, I'm not fearing premature consolidation at all here, at all, at all, at all. So we could even wait a few days, we can start lengthening. I'm not a fan of stopping altogether. I thank you. I'm more of a fan of slowing down. And once again, if I have any concern about regenerate quality, then what I do is I just go back and forth. Okay. To basically take what we have, compress it, and lengthen it again. Okay. Um, you wear the brace? Yes. B more than before? Yes. It shows because your data is normalized. All right, so let's take off your shoes. Beautiful. And then uh, lay down on your back. So you feel that tightness, right? Yeah. Keep slowing down will even help you for that, by the way. So, his natural tendency is to be slightly flexed, okay. but he does go fully straight. Okay. You feel a stretch when I do that? Yeah. So it's really, it's not the contracture, okay. it is just tight. Same thing here, bilaterally. Can you push in my hands, close my hands, pull towards you, just with the big toes? As hard as you can. You're very good. Where am I touching? On the side, top side of the foot. Where am I touching? Near the big toe. Where am I touching? Near the big toe. Where am I touching? Near the ankle. How about here? That ankle. 
Yes. How about here? Sides. All feels normal. What am I doing? Uh, pinching. Yes. 100%. Okay, lay down on your belly. So you can see that supine we bend your knees a lot. But here's the real challenge. I'm sorry, I'm putting a hand in your lower back. Have you been doing those exercises? with your wife or with the therapist yeah. that we've done together last time. Yeah. Push. One. Yeah, push. One, two, three. Oh, you're, you're relaxing much more early. Keep, keep your pelvis pushing the table. Keep your pelvis. Yes, that's the most important. Push in my hand. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Keep your pelvis pushing the table. Push your pelvis down. Yes. Push your pelvis down. Yes, that's the most important part. Beautiful. Same thing, push your pelvis down. So that's our turning point. Push in my hand. One, two, three, four, five, relax. Push your pelvis down. Yes. Round two. One, two, three, four, five, relax. Beautiful. Push your pelvis down. Yes, take some deep breath. Push in my hand. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Boom. Just there, we gain 30 degrees. And do that multiple times a day. Today, what I see is you've made a lot of progress on your knee contractures and it shows in your gait. You have no nerve issues, but your right side bone quality is not as good as I would like it. So there's no reason to worry. What we'll do right now is just slow down even further. Both sides though. I'm not worried about any premature consolidation at all. So let's reprogram just to, for to do 0.25 twice a day okay. on both sides. And then let's reconvene in two weeks. In two weeks, we'll take new x-rays. We'll have a better idea. I think the result will be a more flexible joints, better bone formation. And if there's too much bone formation, or if we can, we can we're going to re-accelerate. OK? Keep up doing what you're doing. It's working. You're doing great. Good. When's your PT appointment? Um, right after this. This one is two hours. So Kim said uh, it's better to just do two hours. She's the boss. Is there anything else we can do for you today? No, so far so good. You're all set in medication? Yes. Awesome, so I'll see you in two weeks. Great, thank you. If there's any problem, reach out, please. Thank you. Thanks. Yep. So in so as you see in the um, appointment with Dr. Asiad, 
out of caution, uh, Dr. Asiag is slowing me further down. So I'm gonna slow down to be doing half a millimeter a day. So 0 0.5 uh, millimeter, two times a day, 0 0.25, uh, two times. Um, that is not for the stiffness or tightness. That is because in the x-ray, he could not see the, uh, the bone quality to be high quality. The, the new bone, the callus. So he wants to give it two more weeks and then he want to do another x-ray. Um, and then uh, from there we're gonna go. So uh, he wanted to give this these two weeks a little bit of time for the bone to heal further. Um, he said he's not worried about premature consolidation at this point. Um, he just want to make sure that uh, the bone is, uh, the gap is filling up fairly good or healthy uh, bone. Uh, PT today was uh, uh, two hour long and uh, oh boy, uh, they kicked my butt. So that's one good thing about Sinai's PT is that uh, uh, when you need it, they do give it to you really good. So uh, I, I think it went overall okay. After the PT, I'm feeling a little loose, a little bit better. So. Uh, I will report back in a couple of days how things are going.